What's going on, y'all? Wolf back with another reaction. We about to get into Bleach episodes 23 and 24. We got into Soul Society, man. We're in Soul Society. Um, apparently, there's the outer part of Soul Society called Rukongai, and the inner part, uh, I don't know the name of it, but that's where the, that's where all the Death Gods live. <clears throat> Death God guys live, apparently. And that's where we got to go to, because that's obviously where they're keeping Rukia in a jail cell. You know what I'm saying? Um, our first obstacle, big ass dude named Judambo, double axes, pop, pop, pop. Apparently Ichigo is insanely strong now because now that we found out that for the 10 days that Ichigo has been, been with Urahara, five days was to become a death god, the rest of the five, he was straight up fighting day and night against Urahara, who I believe is insanely strong. He hasn't, he hasn't shown his full strength yet, you know what I'm saying? So he was probably beating Kurosaki's ass that whole time. And, uh, you know, as... As a person that, so I've played like competitive sports before, competitive gaming. Whenever I play against someone that's better than me, you know, over and over again, I just, you, you just get better. It just happens. You know, it happens naturally. So that whole time when Ichigo was getting his ass kicked by probably Urahara, now he's probably definitely, he's, he's, he's definitely, I say, lieutenant level, you know. Um, according to Soul Society, there's captains and lieutenants. I feel like he's definitely lieutenant level. You know, just because he was able to keep up Renji, who was also a lieutenant. Um, and now Ichigo has leveled up even more. So I feel like he's definitely l l l lieutenant level. However, captain level now, uh, we saw that they ran, they ran into another captain. The, th the third squad captain, Ichimaru Gin. Gin Ichimaru. He's got this short sword that apparently extends extremely fast. And was able to knock down Ichigo's crew and Jidanbo out of the gates. Um, in an instant. So, captain level is definitely leagues beyond lieutenant level. Like the gap is the gap is big. So we still got we still got to get stronger. I believe. You know, I don't think Ichigo's there yet. Maybe he's got maybe he's still got some untappable power. Maybe if he gets his you know hit his back against the wall, maybe he'll unlock some new shit like normal anime protagonists do. But at the moment, we definitely need some work. We can't fight against captain level yet. Because so, so far, the captains we've seen, Byaki and this Gin guy, they could take out Ichigo instantly if they wanted to. So, But I'm glad we did see another captain do some work. That's pretty hype. That's pretty hype, right? And it, it definitely makes me excited to watch some Mo, for sure. Um, okay, so we got kicked out of, soul, uh, of, uh, of the inner part of Soul Society. How do we get in? That's the question. My guess is some kind of secret passage. Because it can't be just... You know, it can't be j in any kind of fucking, you know, uh, secret place or village or whatever the fuck. There's always a secret passage. There's always a secret passage. Whether it be underground, it's normally underground. Whether it be through, you know, there's some maze shit. No, my guess is through underground. They gotta, they gotta meet up. Um, Yoruchi-san, the little cat, said there was a, um, there was a person that they have to meet named Shiba. I believe the Shiva person knows the underground passage to the inner part of Soul Society. So that's what we got to do. Um, however, the old guy made it seem like that it's not as, e as easy a task as they were making it seem like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think this underground passage probably has, you know, some dangerous things in it. Um, and it's going to be a lot harder than through, through the normal means of, you know, opening the gate. However, because they know that um, Ichigo is here um, because he did fight Gin for that little stint. There's probably a captain guarding each of the doors, so we, we we definitely can't go in through normal means anymore. So we probably gotta have to go through this underground passage, which that's completely dangerous, but I mean in turn less dangerous than fighting a captain. We'll do it. We'll get there, and then bah, we gotta find Rukia, right? That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay. Uh, and of course, we still haven't seen the development of Ishida, Chad, and Orihime's powers. I'm excited to see that, how they leveled up. And of course, I don't think we've seen, uh, you know, Ichigo's full power yet, too. You know, he showed a little bit against Jidambo. He fucking destroyed his axes in an instance. So that was pretty dope. And of course, he blocked all the big ass attacks. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see. We got to save Rukia. I don't know how much time do we got. We got like half a month. We have a half a month left to save Rukia, dog. dog. That's... That's definitely a lot of time, but uh, I don't know. Just the, the 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 clock is ticking. I believe in our crew, though. Okay. Um. But before we get into into these episodes of Bleach, I need you guys to do me a favor: hit the like, hit the sub, 
Why? Because eventually I'm going to watch your favorite anime or TV show on this channel, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And without further ado, let's get into these episodes of Bleach. Uh, 23 and 24. Are we not? Oh, shit. What the fuck? Wait. <laughs> yeah, why is Ichigo wilding right now? We're trying to save Ruby, you dumbass. Fourteen days, bro. Jesus. This isn't really happening, man. God. This feels so extreme for what she did. I don't know. But I get it, though. Laws are laws. Rules are rules. Oh. So th this cat is, like, well-known, it looks like. What the fuck is this cat? Boobs. <laughs> so is that a soul slayer that she's got on her arm? Or is that just like a regular dagger? I don't be knowing. God, they're treating her like a straight up like mass murderer. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh man. Yeah. We gotta save we gotta save Ruki Ichigo. This is not right. It's not right. He told her. Was Renji on our side? I'm getting the feeling. Boobs. I'm getting the feeling he's on our side. I just realized her right arm is prosthetic. Yeah? Yeah, it is. That's dope. That's some Sekiro shit. Wait, isn't that the guy we just fought? That's the guy we were fighting. Oh, so they both used to live in Rukongai? Mm -hmm. No. Just say no. See what happens. Yeah, it does seem sus, bro. The fuck? Why? Gosh. <laughs> oh no. Whoa. What was that? Whoa! That's not just a dramatic thing, right? Like, the she, she actually did that? 
That was sick. That's some fire jutsu shit. What are we doing? What are we doing? Is this the uh, underground passage? The secret underground passage? Here we go. Wait. Wait, she's gonna blast us into Soul Society? I mean, into the fucking... The inner part of Soul Society? Wait. <laughs> That's literally the opposite of being underground, hello? <laughs> So, we're gonna circus blast us all the way into inner soul society like that. I mean, if that's the only way. Okay. The Court of Pure Souls is what it's called. <clears throat> okay. It's a plan. Let's do it. <laughs> Jesus. So these are some of the lieutenants. Oh, nice. Good job, Orihime. See, this is so weird. Why can't he do it? Apparently, I think he has the most spiritual power out of everyone, right? But he can't do it. True. I like that. あいつは捕まって今処刑されようとしている。そいつを見殺しにするような。つまんねえ男にはな。いや、おんな。その中心目がけて体ごと飛び込む自分をイメージするんだ。シェ。だ<笑> So what, is it a sim symbolization to like give yourself to the darkness? In order to access the power or some shit? 
練習することもなかったな<笑>俺一回あいつの前でやってみせただけなんだそれがこんなことになるなんて<笑> Yeah Yeah We knew this though He just couldn't do it I like how Chad's instinct is to protect. That's what's up, man. Oh, is this. Oh, is this all the captains? <gasps> oh, God! One, two, three, four, five. I, I couldn't count. I think I counted 12. Did I count 12? This reminds me of Frieza, off rip. I like his hair. Look his hair. I like how everyone's got like a white gi on, this guy has a flower robe. <laughs> Oh, here we go. It's the old guy. You can, I mean, in every anime, there's that one old dude that's stronger than everyone else. And this is him, huh? <laughs> okay. Yo, yo. Okay, so they said. Uh, I think uh, there are thirteen captains, because there were twelve in there. But dude said, "I got where's thirteenth? So I'm. I assume there are thirteen in total, unless there are any more. They didn't mention the fourteenth, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume there are thirteen. Okay. Damn. Damn. One of them didn't look human. One of, them, one of them looked chill as fuck. Most of them looked on edge. Um, Gien is obviously like very aloof. Damn, I wanna know what they do. <laughs> I wanna know, cause if they're all just as strong as Byakuya, we've only seen Gien in action. The rest of them, they must have some shit, bro. I mean, they're either just as fast, they're either just as strong, you know, they've got some cool powers. I'm more, most curious about the guy that sounded like Frieza. He's not human. He's... His sideburns were made of gold. His face, skin was not... It wasn't white, it was like... I don't know, it was like pale... Ugh, I don't know. Not, not the color of human skin, that's all, that's all I'll say. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so the way we get in to the court is through the sky. I was not expecting. I was really, I was, I was really sold on the idea that we were gonna find an underground passage, go through it, kill some monsters here and there, and then we'll we'll arrive in the court of pure souls. But no, we're legit gonna be shot through a cannon, and we're gonna break through the barrier through this fucking spirit orb thing, and that's how we get in. You see, I'm okay with that idea, but it's not subtle. As soon as they touch ground, I mean, they're gonna know the people inside, and then they're gonna rush to wherever they they, they crash landed. 
That's what I'm thinking. Unless they got a fucking, you know, spirit orb uh, pad there that they could land on safely. I doubt that. I doubt they're gonna aim specifically to a certain spot, you know, through a fucking cannon. I think their goal is just to break through it. Okay, well, fingers crossed that we land to a place that's far away from the captains, at least, and close to Rukia, which is probably not gonna be the case. I imagine Rukia is nearby, you know, one captain's headquarters or something. Um, okay, that's the plan, I guess. Damn, dude. I want to see the captains in action, man. Just seeing all of them lined up and the old guy in the front. One of the rules in anime, when you see an old guy commanding everyone, he's the strongest. He's the strongest. The chairman in Hunter x Hunter that I'm also watching right now, I'm, I know he's the strongest. I can tell. I just, just by the years of watching anime, I can tell. I can tell. You know? Master Roshi in the, in the original Dragon Ball, I can tell. I can tell. Um, yeah. Okay. Wow. Dude, there's gonna be some hard ass fights coming up. Cause imagine we have to we have to defeat all these captains, bro, on Byakuya's level in order to get to Rukia. That's what I'm picturing. How else are we gonna do it? They're not, they're not just gonna let us walk in. As soon as we touch down in the court, they're heading for our ass. We gotta find a way to run, to at least go up one v ones. Because if they, if they ambush us, we're dead. You know, we're dead. Of course, that doesn't make for a very good story. So I do not think they're going to do that. But, you know, anything's, anything's possible in an anime. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. All right, man. Cool. Cool. <laughs> we're going to really cannonball our ass in the sky and blast through. If that's the only way, that's the only way. Uh, I like how they said that they couldn't break through the wall by... By spirit means it's unbreakable. That is good. I, I did like how they, you know, demonstrated that. So it makes it much more difficult than just, you know, Chad fucking powering up and blasting a hole through the wall. I do want to see Chad fight. I think, uh, I think his, his power is the coolest. His power is the, his arm. I think his power is the coolest. I like his power the most. I think Orihime's power is the strongest. No cap. Um, if I had to choose a power myself to like. Pick out in the group that I would want, Ish Ishida, because I like archers. And whenever, whenever I play a, 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 an RPG, I pick an archer. That's just who I am. But I think the person with the most potential is Ichigo. He's, I mean, you saw when he activated the spirit orb when he couldn't control it. It fucking almost took up the whole house. So yeah, can't wait to see Ichigo unleash his full power. Can't wait to see our other squad fight. These captains and these lieutenants. We got some tough fights ahead of us, man. And I can't wait for that shit. That's just gonna be fucking awesome. Cool, cool, cool. All right. If you guys enjoyed those episodes of Bleach and enjoyed this reaction, hit the like, hit the sub. I'm out of here, man. Peace.